All right, welcome. My name is K. Michael Russell. I am a comic book colorist, and I do these tutorials on YouTube to hopefully make you a better colorist. So, uh, in this video today, I'm going to talk to you guys about a different uh, selection method. Now, if you've been around my channel very long, and many of you have asked about this, the way that I typically render something, like for example, if I want to render these leaves, I will select the leaves, and then I've got an action set to F4 that I just press and it copies that selection to a new layer okay and it locks the transparency so even if I make selections outside of it then whenever I try whoops whenever I try to render that then it doesn't actually go outside of the uh, area that I've selected and then I just merge that layer back down when I'm done with it I want to show you guys a different method that I've picked up on so up here at the top and I didn't even know these settings existed. <laughs> I've never noticed them. But uh, on the lasso tool, you've got a couple of settings boxes up here. And by default, it's set to that first one, which is just a new selection. And there's one on the far right, when you click it, and you put your mouse over it, it says uh, intersect with selection. This is a little bit uh, different way of using the lasso tool. So I'm going to do the same thing this time. And this also works on the magic wand. It changes it for both the lasso and the magic wand tool. So I'm still just on my main layer and I'm going to make a selection of what I want to render, say for example. And then I'm also going to go outside of it you know, just so you guys can see. Now if I were to start painting right now, let me get a regular brush. Then you'll see that it covers the entire area, which is not what I want. So with the magic wand, and I've got this intersect with selection option checked. When I click inside the leaves there, you'll see that it actually only leaves what I've selected within that color. So now when I do my rendering, it's going to contain it that way. And it would work the same way in any of these uh, selections in the background, of course, if I just click it. But uh, in a, again, in order for this to work this way, you have to have this intersect with selection filter check. So I'll do this again I'll, in, on the apple. So I'm going to make a selection uh, inside the apple, and then I'll make a selection also outside the apple just to show you. Now, if I don't make any changes, if I don't click anything else and I try to paint, of course it goes outside of all of it, which is what we don't want. So I'm going to undo that. And now I'm going to go to the magic wand with the intersect with selection checked. And when I click the apple, you see it gets rid of all of the other parts of the selection outside the apple. So uh, this only works uh, on flat colors, of course. So if you were to do some rendering, uh, whoops, if you were to do some rendering and then decide you want to do more, then it only works in the flat parts of that. So uh, you've got to keep that in mind, of course, but um, most of the time you're not doing that anyway. So it's just a different way. Both methods work. Either way works. There is no correct way. There are probably 10 other ways that I have not yet discovered <laughs> on how to do this. So uh, I know this was a quick one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out the link in the description for my coloring course if you want more detailed, organized, step-by-step uh, -step tutorials on how to do this start to finish. I also have my Patreon account, so if you want uh, PSD files that I've got available there, you can get in there and play around my layers and whatnot. So anyway, again, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, or give me a thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Either way, works for me. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Take care.